Okay, it's time for a couple more magnets demonstrations. Um, this is a result of um, Andres, uh, who's on PTNC, suggesting this demonstration. So I've got these two steel um, ball bearings on top of a ceramic magnet. Um, and if you put one of the ball bearings on top of the other one and hold the magnet down and lift it up, you might be surprised by what happens. If I lift the top ball bearing up, the bottom one actually remains stuck to it. And you can lift it quite high. And almost take the magnet away entirely. So this phenomenon is uh, interesting enough in and of itself. <clears throat> if you get a bigger stack of magnets, then... Uh, you'll find that when you lift the top one off, which is somewhat harder to do, you really can take away the magnets entirely and these two ball bearings will remain stuck together. So, unless you jiggle them about too much. So there's an interesting comparison to be made between one magnet where they don't really stay stuck together that well and then the big stack of magnets where they stay stuck together really well so well in fact that you can take the, the stack of magnets away now you'll notice if you look carefully where's the lens uh, that one of these <laughs> ball bearings is black um, it's black because um, well my students and I wondered whether we could destroy this magnetism so it seems that these ball bearings are being permanently magnetised by coming close to this stack of magnets. So these two are now permanent magnets. Um, whether we could demagnetise them with uh, intense heat from a Bunsen burner. So uh, we heated one of the, got the, the, the two ball bearings like this and clamped the top one and then heated the top one uh, with a Bunsen burner until it was ridiculously hot. Um, and lo and behold, the, the, the bottom ball bearing did drop off. But... I'd be very interested to hear any suggestions about how we could uh, measure the temperature that the top ball bearing reached in that uh, heating, because I think it would have to reach about 800 degrees, that's the Curie point uh, for steel, um, for it to really lose its magnetism. So uh, I don't know if we really reached 800 or whether we ended up just jiggling a bit. But um, anyway, it's an interesting demo, uh, and I, I've got a couple more up my sleeve as well, which I'll video in just a moment.